morning, Trojans. Today's date is Friday, March 24th, and it's an A-Day. I'm Dylan Richardson. And I'm Julie Fiorica. Today's quote is from Dolly Parton, who is an American singer-songwriter, actress, philanthropist, and businesswoman, known primarily for her career in country music. She had this to say, quote, if you don't like the road you're walking, start paving another one, unquote. Sophomores and juniors, are you interested in joining Link Crew next year? TBC's got you covered. Link Crew, they want to come and help welcome new freshmen to our campus. They want to be involved all year, um, and they're gonna show a good role model of positive school spirit. My Link Crew leaders and motivate me to do my work. It's good, help me to go up to like my peers and everything. We do have some events. We have fall movie night for just freshmen. We have an assembly for just freshmen. So it's a full year commitment where we'll train you how to do everything, but we need you to show up and be involved and go big. You can scan this QR code or check your PHS email for a Google form from Mrs. Britton where you can apply to be a link leader. If you have any questions, talk to Ms. Britton in the library. Trojans, want to help support our amazing sports programs at PHS? Then come for a super fun night out at the block on April 21st for the PHS Athletic Boosters fundraiser. There will be food from Stockholm, Cafe Zumi, a dessert bar from Whole Foods, live music, and amazing auction items from our local businesses. All of this is to support our 600 plus PHS student athletes. You can buy your tickets today using the link in this video's description. ASB is hosting an opportunity to celebrate Women's History Month. If you are interested in planting flowers to commemorate influential women, then come today to the Butterfly Garden at lunch. All are welcome. In recognition of Women's History Month, TBC's Maya Kramer and Emerson Briggs put together this segment. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Speaking of seeing, women have eyes too. Happy Women's History Month. Here are a few women we should remember this month. Elizabeth Maggie? More like Elizabeth McGirl Boss. She created Monopoly, the board game. The Monopoly Man was created by a Monopoly woman. Damn girl, those XX chromosomes really got you solving for why. Ada Lovelace was the coolest female mathematician of the 1800s and was considered the world's first computer programmer. Go woman. Marie Curie gaslighting? More like lighting gas on fire because she was a chemist. She discovered several radioactive elements. Frida Kahlo was the first Mexican-American to have her art featured in the Louvre, which often showed the female experience. One of the feminist and queer icons of the 20s and 30s, that's what I call women supporting women. What do you call monkeys that share an Amazon account? I, I don't know, I don't know. Primates. <laughs> Jane Goodall knew all about them. She discovered how some of our psychological aspects were rooted in our primate ancestors. That's some monkey business right there. <laughs> Have you ever eaten a chocolate chip cookie? Well, you can thank Ruth Wakefield for that. She was a trained dietitian who made a baking mistake and ended up with the cookie we now know and love. She ain't no rookie when it comes to cookies, but she made a mistake when she tried to bake. Had it us some chocolate chips as an easy fix, but we gotta thank Mrs. Roof for her chocolate chips. C O O K I E S. We at TBC want to acknowledge the important contributions of women throughout our history. Seniors, the University of Hawaii at Manoa will be visiting the College and Career Center on April 13th from 10 a.m. to 10:30. If you're interested, plan on stopping by during break on that Thursday. The Petaluma Wildlife Museum is having a fundraiser at Mama J's Pizza on April 8th from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. You don't even need to mention the fundraiser. 20% of every order goes to the museum. They have a very diverse menu with items like specialty and custom pizzas, salads, and fried pickles. Mama J's is located in Pengrove at 10101 Main Street. Are you interested in learning to bowl? 
or maybe you enjoy the sport and want to get better at it, Bolero AMF Bowling is looking to start a youth bowling league and they need people who are interested to join. The league will run for 15 weeks and may start as early as May. They'll provide bowling balls and shoes and you get to keep those afterwards. There's a fee of $20 per week to participate. Contact Danelle Walker at dwalker26 at pk12.org if you're interested. Do you have any library books that are overdue? Maybe they've been sitting on your desk or in your bag for a long time. Please return or renew them to the library before break. While there's no late fees, the library will charge a replacement cost if the books aren't returned. Clear up your library account and start spring break fresh. We're starting a new segment on TVC called Ask Mr. Napoli, where you can submit questions to Mr. Napoli and he'll answer them on air. You can submit your questions by emailing Trojan Broadcast Channel at petk12.org or telling any TBC staff that you know to pass it on. What is your hair care routine? I take a long time in the morning working on my hair. Why are the Cinderella stair bathrooms closed? We've had a maintenance problem in that restroom for quite a while and we recently tried reopening it and the um, problem was a leaking um, issue with plumbing that we still need to resolve. How much can you bench? Well, the last time I tried, I was able to do about 350. Um, the most common weight, I'm usually around 225 or 250. And the most I ever did was 415, but that was like 20 years ago. Do you have any kids? And if so, what is their names? Yes, I have three kids. Uh, my oldest is Stella, my middle child is Gianna, and my youngest is Sophia. How come we never hear about what happens to the people who have bullied or harassed others? We have to maintain student confidentiality on any disciplinary actions. And uh, what, is, what is often difficult is that uh, when, we, when we meet with students, interview them, and um, try to resolve the, the issues that come up, um, it's challenging for us to share information to the other students. Are you nervous on camera? Yes, I don't like, yes, yes, yes. I don't like being in front of the camera. Mr. Dostry puts me in front of this thing all the time. I never know what to do with my hands or my eyes or my face, and here we are. Thanks for answering those questions, Mr. Napoli. We'll have more from our PHS community after the spring break. If you are a current member of our two honor societies, Please vote today for your CSF or NHS officers to choose who will lead the group through the spring and into next fall. Voting will close Friday at 4 p.m., so check the Google Classroom and look for the ballot form that will be shared with the current members. We won't be doing any TBC broadcasts during spring break, but we have quite a few staff birthdays that we want to recognize. During the first week of spring break, Mr. Lopez, Ms. Songer, and Ms. Jacobs all celebrate their birthdays. During the second week, Vera and Coach Chris have their birthdays. If you see any of them around campus, please be sure to wish them an early happy birthday. These are the clubs meeting today. The Crumble Club meets today in A3. If you like cookies, this is the club for you. Email RileyKreutz at kkreutz24 at pk12.org if you have any questions. The Friday Film Club meets today in E5. If you want to know what's playing, you can contact either Vanessa Bowles or Alexi Navarro. Their email addresses are vbowles24 at pk12.org or anavarro at pk12.org. GSA meets today in A2 at lunch. All are welcome. Please contact Sofia Alverde if you have any questions at salverde25 at pk12.org. That's it for today's program. Stay safe out there, Trojans, and have an awesome, awesome spring, spring break! break.